thing. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> getting you water and M&Ms. Yeah, I mean, it was ridiculous. <laughs> like, everybody was so stinking nice. Sure. So now, yeah. did it shock yeah. you that after all of this, and after your comment to Ed, that he should get Dave back in the band, that, that he actually got Dave back in the band? Of course you... not. <laughs> no, it was not surprising to me, because for me, that was the only thing he could do. Okay. It was the only move he had to make, and that's how I said it to him. Like, you know, like, you have to get Dave back. It's, that's what everybody wants, eh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's, you know, I mean, that's what made the most sense. Remember the letter that Win Jackson had sent to Ray Daniels? You had it in the Rolling Stone article. It yep. said that you will have to respectfully pass on the opportunity to be considered as the new lead vocalist in Van Halen. So now, if they yep. offered you the job, how come your manager used considered? I think he was just trying to be polite. Oh, he's trying to be he's polite. Real, okay. He's a, he's a right. southern gentleman. Oh, he's a southern gentleman. Okay. All right. Yeah, and I mean, you know, like... I didn't even see the letter. Okay. I just said, yeah. you know, at, I mean, it's Van Halen, you know? Sure. Like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not going to say, he quit. Right, <laughs> you know? sure. And also, to be considered is a timeline thing, you yeah. know? Like, right. I was, I was considered in the beginning. So right. That, I mean, that's... Of course, of course, that's true. So yeah. now, looking back at when Ed called you in 99, when Gary left, did you regret not have a go with it with ed or looking back do you or do you feel like after that nashville situation that you dodged a bullet you know i don't think of it in either of those terms i don't know man i don't think of the past and i'm not a shoulda woulda coulda kind of guy okay right so yeah so i just kind of take things as they come and i you know i try to stay in, in this moment and i don't think too much about the past i don't think too much about the future and you know that's just kind of how i am I have to say, you know, when I read that Rolling Stone thing, I, I teared up just because it brought back so many, you know, emotions stuff that I don't think about. Like I don't, I don't dwell on things. Like right. I'm trying to say. Right. That's I, true. That's true. You, you know, yeah. Mitch, I appreciate a guy who doesn't play a what if game. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. yeah, Dave's I all just, about that. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And so, Dave's all about that. He's all about that. Right, you could go in that rabbit hole and go crazy. <laughs> that's right. right. And yeah, nothing you could, yeah, no. yeah. I don't want to go insane, dudes. Yeah, so I'm just like, you know, I kind of I take things as they come, and I, you know. Was Michael Anthony around when you were at 5150, or was he not, not involved? He was absolutely there. Okay. He was there. The whole band was lined up to greet me. When okay. Oh, there. the whole band was. Okay. All right. So, because Michael in the article was like, I don't know what happened. I wasn't involved. It was like weird. I do not understand right. Michael's line, his narrative. I, I have Michael on tape laughing, <laughs> singing, right. and talking. Right. Right. Exactly. As, exactly. Well, as well as Al talking. Okay. As well as Ed talking right right of course of course was that the tape you sent to rolling stone it is yeah so now did you ever so, meet wolfie and have you heard his new music i love wolfie i've always loved him i love his new music and he was the sweetest most adorable little kid you've ever met in your life okay he was, he's five years old he took to me right away and i love kids so it right. was on like I think on the second morning, I heard some kind of like a rustling at the door. I didn't think anything of it. And when I finally went over to my door, I looked under the door and there was paper. Like I opened the door and there's these little like these pieces of paper. And he had drawn me drawing <laughs> and and signed my name backwards underneath it. And I still had those, I think, up until my move. <laughs> I saw them when I was moving, and I think I threw them away because I threw away so much stuff. Right. But if I didn't throw them away, I don't know where they are. Oh. I, I, they're wow. probably in storage somewhere. Or something. Right. But, but yeah, he had written me these little, like, pictures that he drew, like, with crayon. Oh, that's so cute. Like, adorable. That's you know? so funny. And, uh, yeah. So. What did you think of when, it, when Distance came out? Did you see the video? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that he's doing his music. Right. And I love how talented he is. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was there when his first, first guitar, his little mini Wolfie came in. <laughs> and and Ed showed it to me. And it's stunning. Just beautiful little, like, three-quarter size guitar. Wow. And 
and it was for, it was for Wolfie, and he goes, "I'm just so nervous. He's not going to like it." <laughs> and I, which is which is a you know a good dad kind of thing to say, yeah. you know, like you know he was a great dad. Yeah, and you know I was like, of course he's going to like it. Look at this. Was it a little like, mini Frankenstein? It was a little mini, I think, Wolfgang. I think that was the guitar at the time. Oh, and the I, Wolfgang I guitar, right? Okay, right, right, right. And, yeah, I don't yeah. actually remember that the name of it, but okay. I, I just assumed it was that. Yeah. Sure, sure. Now, you also said in the interview, Rolling Stone, you talked with Ed through Steve Lukather. Are you are you friends with Steve? I am, but I didn't mean to pull Steve into that. Okay. I, I probably I shouldn't have mentioned Steve because I yeah yeah Steve and I you know we're not like super tight. We, we exchange texts and emails. You know he's super tight with Ed, so Ed did say hello to me through Steve. So, you know, but that's it. That's sure, it. That's, sure. You know, I shouldn't have brought Steve up because I just, I mean, Steve, I respect him like, oh, my God, I worship that dude. Yeah, he's incredible. He's so, incredible. The In terms yeah. of Ed's legacy, obviously, you know, he's known for his incredible playing and his, his hammer-ons. But, you know, he was also, you know, obviously a prolific writer. He also, you know, produced yeah. a lot of incredible gear. He's actually really yeah. reputable in the guitar, gear, and amp community, that kind of thing. Yeah. So do you think that even though there's no more Van Halen, that do you think that the brand will grow? Do you think it'll be like Hendrix and that after his death, it'll it'll grow and continue to grow as time goes on i absolutely do i don't see any way that that can't happen he is a legend and Mm -hmm. he is known by many as the best how could that not happen i mean his his name is going to go on and get bigger and bigger and bigger as it should i mean he's one of a kind he started an entire genre you know of, of guitar players i mean he you know they're like descendants of him so, I mean, yeah, I don't see any way that that can't happen. Sure. And do will you be playing It's the Right Time in concert with Malloy? Yes. Oh, cool. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. That's great. Yep. When do you think we'll see a Malloy album? When do you think there'll be more Malloy music? I could actually see that happening early summer. Early summer. Okay, great. So that's coming up soon. Well, Mitch, it's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for speaking with us tonight. Uh, Do you have a website for Malloy? Yes, we secured Malloy the band because the the word Malloy was actually taken. So all of our socials is just Malloy the band. Whoa! How about that for Rock Video Music fans? Live all day, all night. We know what you need. Right here on Dave TV. Check us out on Facebook at Dave and Dave Unchained, a Van Halen podcast. On Twitter at DD Unchained. On Instagram at DD Unchained Podcast. And you can email us at DD Unchained Podcast at gmail.com. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, 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 good. Little uh, news at the top. You ready for this? Yes. Anthony Giacchino was nominated for an Oscar. Really? Yep. For what? Documentary short film. Well, that makes sense. That's yeah. what he does. What was the documentary on? I believe it was on this older woman. I didn't see the short, but wow. I okay. just got the wow. news on social media. So. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Now, hasn't he been nominated before? I don't think so. I could swear he was like in the mix to be nominated and then but i thought this thing was like his brother was nominated a bunch of times and then anthony was nominated for something and won his first time out even though michael had been nominated multiple times no michael won not only did he win but he got the award from paul mccartney Oh, my God. He, I remember because when he gave his speech, he goes, I don't know what I'm more excited about, the Oscar or actually given the award by Paul McCartney. 